Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Syracuse Orange and the Miami Hurricanes. Tonight, we've got an intriguing matchup at the point guard position. Number 33 might be one of the best floor leaders in the country right now. The player we'll be matching up with tonight is also a great leader. It'll be interesting to see which one can compel his team to victory. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The Hurricanes are assured of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the lock to him immediately. Second of all, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Thirdly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper the dribble gives it up he takes the shot from the baseline Arnold was a highly touted recruit if my memory serves me correctly he was highly recruited out of high school hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special pull up jumper from way out cue the rewind button boys Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He got the steal, the pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure, it was too much for him and he lost possession. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. Gets the rejection. There's a bad pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. A lot of pressure on that basketball. That's their key to their defense. Pressure the ball behind the wings. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He shoots from downtown. Makes the shot. They work the perimeter. From three-point land. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Dumps it in. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to feed inside. Number 32 is being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. They look to get it to the inside. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought that was definitely an offensive charge. perimeter work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot the ball goes out of play trying to go inside he squares up down on the low block i tell you teach your player to face up and get in trouble for a position you can drive shoot or you can pass to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They work it around the perimeter on the outside. Franklin handles the pass. He shoots from the baseline. They let him get into a rhythm. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Gave it up. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Oh, 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That one's definitely worth the second look, Brad. Kicks it out. Franklin receives the pass. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Erickson handles the feed. Ten on the shot clock. He tries to knock down the three. No good. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. It's good. Blows right by him. That's the old Matador defense. Let the ball go through. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nobody got back defensive. The rotation was very poor. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Launches away. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. Franklin receives the ball. The fans aren't happy. Nothing to cheer about. The silence says it all. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Syracuse are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Got a man in high post. For two. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. That's a 15-0 run. Steals a pass. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Blocks the shot. Dribble gives it up. Picked off. He takes the shot. Goes. Let's see that up close. They work it around the perimeter. 
perimeter. The shooting guard takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. He makes a nice shot fake on the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spots, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Jumped in front to take it away. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. That's a foul. Oh, this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Jump hook from the low post. Can't get the shot to go. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Gave it up. He's got an open look for the shot. Puts up the shot. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Erickson steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. on that free throw line and that's major for the bucket and he missed dump it inside high post flashes for the opportunity Erickson is animated and ready to go hey whether you win or lose you should be afraid to show your emotions this one might turn out to be a blowout. Hey, if it continues along this path, I would hate to see tomorrow's headlines. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And in and out. Picked out of the air. On the outside, tries a three. They scored seven in a row. Intercepted. Fast break opportunity here. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper.
gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Franklin draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Franklin goes to the line for the first time. First one is no good. Second shot. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. The Hurricanes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Well, he's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter for two. He buries it. Good job defensively. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Syracuse is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Stolen away. Now you got to get back. Don't allow him to have numbers. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose hair and you get balled like I oh, am. Yeah. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Looking for a good shot. Step out on that screener. Scorches the net. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Length of the floor. Here's a double team. He's got a high post flasher. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two, they still don't score. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call though by the official. away the pass Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot Dick he's still applying great pressure on the dribble got the shot if he wants it the dribble gives it up. Arnold fakes the shot. He shoots from long range. Tickles a twine. Arnold. 
Lobs it. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He intercepts it, gave it up. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Takes the pass in the paint. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. We need to see that again, Brad. He up fakes. Kick it back outside. Up and inside. Top of the circle. Off the mark with that shot. They work the perimeter. He fires it up. Sinks the shot. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He makes the shot. Tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And a slam. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He steps up to the line. He sinks it. Both free throws go. around the perimeter ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man let's see if they go two for one here Dick double team now bad angle he takes the three he gets the shot to fall Was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Dump it inside. Great block shot. Fast break possibility coming. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Looking for a good shot. Up fake. 
He shoots from the elbow. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At the half, the Orange are up by 30. is losing in the rebounding category so far in this ballgame, partner. Hey, any rebounding deficit is bad for this team. They're going to have to channel some of their playing energy toward hitting the boards. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. That's a really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now. They're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. You are being used as a launching pad. With the block. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. There it is. Jam City. Side. On the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Kick it back outside. Royal is getting some love from the crowd now. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Sinks it. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Picked off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Working it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. They work the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Two, perfectly executed. He shoots from outside. He shows the sweet touch. Entry pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. For the bucket, Dickie Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Hard foul. Oh, and you can tell. 
tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Flash from the post up high. Lobs it inside. Looking for the foul. Puts it up. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. There's a steal. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. They'll work it around the arc. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes the shot. Tries to get the D to bite. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the outside. There's the trap. He puts it in with contact and all. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Syracuse are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three ball. Nice shot. Gave it up. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Oh, that silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second one is no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. You're going to be seeing this one all week. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man.
Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to draw some contact. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Takes it off him. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The Orange lead by 35. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, basket falls despite the contact. The Hurricanes are behind by 35. Gave it up. Low block. Trying to draw the foul. The funny thing is, this defense isn't that bad. But the O is just that good. Got some room. He launches a three. Makes the shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Great play to take that to the basket. defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. in trouble. Defense made him keep it too low. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. There's the fake. There's a double team waiting there. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Well, that's 
good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Miami are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the outside, there appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Looks at a three. Way off target. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. From the baseline, nails the fadeaway. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. They work it around the arc. Jumped in front to take it away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Up and inside. He bombs from outside. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Double team now, bad angle. He drains the bucket. the ball. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Miami are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Shoots from right of the circle. That was nice. Takes the pass in the paint. We're pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He fouled him. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. And a momentary look from three-point land. Stolen ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Yeah, now it's about damage control. Good time to get some of the bench players into the game to avoid injury. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. He puts up the tray. That's good. We get another look.
He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Has a nice look at the basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, it just doesn't. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He takes it away. It's a fast break possibility. And he scores despite the hack. Watch here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two. And off the mark. That's a great defensive effort being all over the ball. They get the five-second call. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and on the move, and he does it exceptionally well. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Orange are a frustrated bunch right now, I think. Hey, Brad, they must turn things around. There's no point in dwelling on what just took place. Look ahead, look to the future. Shot clock is dead. And the ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and an inside presence will separate your team from others. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. And the ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the half dick. I tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Throws up the prayer. He missed. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, it's always great to look back and see how the marquee matchup is played out. Well, that's how you win. You've got to execute as a team. You've got to make sure the right people shoot the shot. And I'll tell you, the PTPers responded, but they responded within a team concept. 
Miami is absolutely stunned in this whale of a blowout. No surprises here. They were fighting an uphill battle from the start. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.